How's it going, people? Sam and Slab here, and this is RuneScape Tech. Uh, we're going to be taking a little look at improving the lag and performance of RuneScape. And in the last one, we covered the RuneScape client, and that improved the amount of RAM it can use, multi threading, as well as SSL. Today, we're going to be covering the browser version, and this is also for Windows, but you don't gain as many benefits since you can only modify the amount of RAM that Jagex can use through the browser. However, this will be useful if you have to use the browser because you're not at home or for whatever reason you prefer using the browser. No problem whatsoever. Either way, there's two ways to actually do this little modification. Both of them are very, very simple and you can do it within 10 minutes less without me babbling you already know what you're doing. So, to start with, we're going to do the first one and it's pretty straightforward. You just go down to start and then to control panel. If you're on XP, then at this point you just go to Java. If you're on 7, then you go to Programs, then Java. And I don't actually use or have seen 8 or 8.1, but I assume it's probably very similar to 7. So either way, you just got to get to Java. That's all you need to know. So once you're there, crack Java open, and you'll be on the Java Control Panel. So on this, you've got five tabs. This is General, Update, Java, Security, and Advanced. We're looking at the Java tab, so go ahead and click on that, and you'll have an option here it's with View and Manage Java Runtime Versions and Settings for Java Applications and Applets. And underneath you have a little View button, go ahead and click it. This will open up another window called the Java Runtime Environment Settings, and in here you could have just one line here, or you could have multiple lines in here. Uh, it doesn't particularly make much difference, to be totally honest. And the thing we're going to be modifying is the runtime parameters. I've already modified this and it's pretty straightforward to be honest. So all you've got to do is double click in the runtime parameters and this will allow you to type in there. In all likelihood you're going to have absolutely nothing in there at this point because you haven't actually modified it. But that's what we're going to do. So to modify it all you need to do is type in minus and then xmx the amount of RAM you want in there and then end it with m. So if you don't know how much RAM you should be allocating or putting in there or how much RAM you actually have in your system, no problem, we're going to work all that out now and I'll explain why. So go down to start and then in the little search function or if you're on an older system you can just click run. And once they're open just type in DXDIAG and press enter. This will bring up the DirectX diagnostic tools. So right in front of you on this first window you'll find memory and it'll tell you how much memory you have and that's pretty much it, it'll tell you RAM you've got. So in this system, as you can see, I've got 8200 RAM. No problem at all, you might have higher, you might have lower, it all depends on what's inside your system. But I've got 8200 megabytes worth of RAM, good times. So now you know how much RAM you have. So with that in mind, you can now actually enter your runtime parameters. So there's a few things to keep an eye on here is, I highly recommend not exceeding 50% of your maximum RAM. So in my case, I, my maximum is 8,200, so it would be 4,100. But I wouldn't recommend exceeding 50%. The reason for this is pretty simple and fairly straightforward. You don't want all of your RAM allocated to RuneScape simply because your PC actually needs RAM in order to function, as well as do other things on the side. I assume you like to watch YouTube or something like else? Maybe a music player or something? Yeah, that needs RAM. So don't exceed 50%. That is my advice to you. The other thing is RuneScape themselves, or Jagex I should say, do recommend 512 as a general rule of thumb for the megabytes. It's entirely up to you, 512 runs perfectly fine. I have tried looking how much RAM RuneScape uses whilst I'm running it, and I haven't really seen it exceed around 700 megabytes. So 512 is a pretty good option. If you can go a bit higher, then sure, that's perfectly fine. If you're on an older system with quite a bit less RAM, so let's say you've only got a thousand megabytes worth of RAM, a gig of RAM, then 512 is still half, so you're perfectly fine. If, however, you happen to have less, I've no idea why you would have less, but you can lower it to something lower like 256, 300, something around there, no problem at all. But it specifies how much RAM it, the Java will use, or can use, I should say. So 512 as a minimum, you can go all the way up to about 50% of your maximum RAM, whichever one you want. So either way, inside the runtime parameters, you shut up minus XMX, however much RAM you specified, and then M. That simple. That is all you need to do. So once you've done that, just click OK, Apply, and OK. 
If you're unsure how much RAM you should have in there, and you've got at least 1000 megabytes worth of RAM in your system, just put 512. 512 will suit you all across the board. So that's the end of option one. It's fairly straightforward, nice and easy, yeah? Probably about five minutes to take that, and that's with me chatting nonsense. So the second method is quite literally just as straightforward. So go to the internet. So go to RuneScape. And then go to play the game. That simple. Uh, if, like me, you've got to allow Java because you never actually use it, go ahead and do so. So as soon as you do that, down in the bottom right, you'll have a little icon here of Java itself. All you need to do is right click on it and open the control panel. Again, go to the Java window and just click view. And in here you'll have the same Java runtime environment settings we was just modifying. And as you can see, it's already told it to use the right amount of RAM. Well, close to what I typed in. So this is the acceptable RAM for them. You can change your RAM in here as well. This literally tells you how much RAM is going to be allowed to allocate to Java and this is kind of like the best way to check it. So you can modify it inside Java through the control panel but you can also run it whilst you're playing the Java game and it gives you kind of up-to-date info of exactly what it's doing. So yeah, hopefully you've now got uh, minus XMX and a number in here. If you don't then simply type in whichever one you put in the Java control panel, so minus XMX 512M, if that's what you've got in there. And as soon as you type that all in, just click OK, apply, OK, and that's it, done. It is that simple. Those are the two methods to add more RAM to the browser version. And that is literally all you need and all you can do to the browser. So yeah, not bad. So it's added more memory to it. Uh, in a nutshell, adding more memory to it basically means it can load more stuff at one given time or hold more information at the given time I should say but yeah hopefully that'll improve your lag a bit it should look uh, increase the loading times and stuff if you want to use the browser I would recommend using the client and watching the client video to modify it because honestly that's got a few more little extras in there and it's just as easy to do so yeah the only things left is uh, the mods for a Mac and a Linux version. There are ways to improve it on Mac and Linux as well. If you want to see those and you're running Mac and Linux, then simply leave a comment and tell me and well, I'll see what I can do for you. So yeah, with that said, hopefully you now enjoy the fruit of adding more RAM to the browser. Good times. So until next time, people, I will catch you all later. Have a good one.